On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the 2020 Trek Roscoe 6. This is Trek's entry level plus size mountain bike, and it represents a starting point for a real mountain bike. So we're gonna go into some of the features and designs of this Trek Roscoe 6, as well as find out exactly what it weighs. But before we get started, be sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future. So taking a look at this Trek Roscoe 6, we should start out with the intention. And this bike is really designed for a beginner mountain biker. And by what, what I mean by that is a mountain bike that is truly trail ready. So this would be the beginning point for a mountain bike that you're gonna take out there and you're actually gonna thrash and, and really learn on trails. And it's gonna be really helpful in that scenario because the bike's gonna run plus size tires. And what a plus size tire is, is it's a, basically a tire that's gonna be 2.8 inch to a max of 3.2. That would be the plus size categorization. And this particular bike is running some 2.8 inch Rocket Run tires from Schwalbe. And that particular tire is gonna allow for a really confident handling bike with pretty good speed and pretty good grip but a nice high volume setup so that through transitions and rocky sections and things like that, the bike is gonna be designed so that it's gonna help make the ride a little bit easier where rider skill is still developing. So the chassis that the Roscoe is built on is an alpha gold aluminum frame. So this is shaped aluminum tubing. It's gonna be reasonably lightweight it's gonna have a mix between some more aggressive geometry, but still an easy bike to live with. And it's gonna make for a nice starting point. This frame does run internal cable routing. It also has this tapered head tube, which is gonna allow the bike to have lots of upgradability. The geometry is gonna be set up so that a beginner rider is gonna be more stable on this bike. So this bike has a 67.3 degree head tube angle, which isn't gonna be as slack as some bikes in this category, but that means that the turning is gonna be pretty intuitive to a new rider. It's got a 69.7 degree seat tube angle, making for a pretty decent climber, but it's still gonna run a reasonably short 438 millimeter chainstay length. So that chainstay length is definitely gonna allow the bike to be playful, even though the angles are a little more conservative compared to some of the other bikes. Now for travel on the front end, it has 120 millimeters of travel. And the 120 millimeters of travel is coming out of this SR Suntour XCM fork. It's a coil spring fork. It does run lockout, but the nice thing is it is adjustable. So you can go from all the way open to a little bit firmer and really have some decent control over the front end of the bike. Speaking of the front end, it's running a Boost 15 by 110 front through axle, and then in back it runs a Boost 141 rear through axle. So the 141 means that this is a quick release skewer, but it's still a true Boost size. And in fact, some people worry about that size being something that you can't upgrade, but the nice thing about that size is you can run any boost hub that is also compatible with quick release skewers. So if you wanted to upgrade this with a DT Swiss hub or something like a, a Hope Tech hub, both of those you're gonna have upgrade options for this bike. Another place that you can upgrade is gonna be in the seat. So this runs a straight aluminum seat post, runs a Bontrager Arvada saddle on the top. And this 30.9 seat post is internally routed for a dropper seat post should you wanna add one. And then the drivetrain comes out of the box as a one by setup. So this bike does run a Shimano Deor M6000 rear derailleur. It's gonna have a Sunrace 1142 10 speed cassette. So a nice wide range. And then up front, you're gonna have a threaded bottom bracket running this FSA Alpha Drive Boost crank set with a narrow wide 28 tooth chain ring. So you'll notice that chain ring is a little bit smaller than many of the bikes in this category. And again, that's because they're trying to make this so that it's a good beginner place to mountain bike. For controls, this is running 
a Bontrager 31.8 approved handlebar. It's pretty wide. It's got a 31.8 blender stem, which has compatibility with computers or lights, things like that. The bike does have some lock-on grips, which do feel pretty decent. And then it's gonna be running the Tektro M276 hydraulic brakes. So the M276 hydraulic brake is a two-piston variety. It runs mineral oil for fluid, and it's pretty reliable and durable at this price point. Now we talked about the tires and they're running on some Alex MD35 rims. So these are 35 millimeter internal rims. This is tubeless compatible. So the wheels are tubeless ready, the tires are too. All you would need is to tape up the wheels, get some valves and toss sealant in there. And this bike will be ready to be tubeless. And overall that makes for a really compelling mountain bike if you're trying to get into the sport and have an awesome time out on the trail. So now that we've taken a look at this Trek Roscoe 6, let's go ahead and find out what this bike weighs. The actual weight of this Trek Roscoe 6 comes in at 31.22 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the Trek Roscoe 6. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure you hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, leave a thumbs up. It really lets me know that you enjoyed the video.